everyone, it's Miss Inzy. I'm getting ready to start an art project with you. We're gonna learn about collage art by this artist named Kurt Schwitters. This is a copy of one of his famous artworks. You can probably tell he used different kinds of paper and things that he found. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to collect things around your house and save them up until you feel like you have enough and organize them and then start creating your own collage. All right, so today for our first art lesson, we're going to learn about the artwork, specifically the collage of artist Kurt Schwitters. And if you look at these two examples, Let's try to see it a little more closely. You'll notice you don't see something that looks like an object or an animal, person, a plant. It is called abstract, and that means you put shapes down using different shapes, colors, and sizes, and just create something that gives you a feeling or something interesting to look at and we're going to try that today because all of us are at home and we don't know what supplies um, each student has. So my idea is to find things around the house, find papers around the house, different materials, and use whatever you have to create your abstract collage in the style of Kurt Schwitters. Notice this looks like an envelope he tore because there's a rough line there. Um, this one too. Maybe he was thinking about a certain country or um, certain people that he mailed a letter to in another country because I see, um, it says Londoners there. You see he uses some words or letters and they might not spell out a whole word or you might not see the whole sentence but it can give you an idea about what he was thinking. Also, you see some texture from crumbling up a paper and then gluing it down, and the repetition of the same color, but maybe darker and lighter, and the repetition of rectangles, a lot of rectangles. And you can also make a line by cutting out a paper, a long, thin rectangle, for example, and it looks like you drew a line on the paper. So. How are you going to start this? Well, the first part's kind of fun. It's kind of like a treasure hunt in your house. Get your parents' permission. But what I did is I hung a bag up on a hook in my house, and then I walked around looking for newspapers that we were finished reading, thin cardboard boxes that are easy to cut or tear, that, I've, that I'm finished with, okay. Paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, carton of milk, which is also thin cardboard, has wax on it, but you could use it. You could cut it and not, it's not too difficult if you wanted to. Um, a great thing for color is old magazines. So again, please get permission, but then you flip through the magazines and you can find pages that have a lot of color in them. It's harder to get on uh, newspapers and things like that because advertisements have their print in a certain spot and not all over the page. And so you can cut out around the print. You could also cut out some words, keep calm or whatever, whatever you find, okay? Um, so right now, I would, oh, I found this old ribbon. I've had this for about probably 15 years. It's so big that I didn't use it all. Maybe I want to use some of that to glue down in my collage. Also, if you have any water bottles or soda bottles, whatever you have at home, save them for our next project. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but every time you see something, Think about it as a possible material for art. 
Okay, so we don't know what we'll be doing in the future. This I love for texture, but maybe for next week's project. So again, step one, your first assignment, go around the house, collect things, collect papers, things you can glue down to make an abstract collage in the style of Kurt Schwitters. And get together a bunch of materials and tools. Maybe put them in a plastic box like this if you have one, or this. Or see if you have an old shoe box that nobody needs. I found this. And you can put your scissors, glue, tape, anything, a stapler, anything that you can use to attach the pieces down when you're done. If you can't find anything, no worries. You don't even really need scissors, and I'll show you how to go about that in the next segment of our video. So, guys, go ahead. Collect stuff. See you soon. Once you've gathered enough supplies, what I'd like you to do is find colors in magazines and then separate them so you have, when you're looking for a color, I didn't get any green yet. I didn't get that yet, but I got some black and I got some yellowish orange. I did yellow and orange together. And just collect the colors so that when you're ready to make it, to make this collage, you'll have it and you won't be looking for it. So you just tear out the page that has color. There's not that much, but I really like, I think I might use that turquoise. It can go with blue or green. So I'm just careful to cut out the color that I want. And then I'll put it in my, I'll just put it in my blue and purple folder. I just use a, an old piece of copier paper. It could even be something that was printed on. You can use an old newspaper, anything to separate your colors or just make piles, doesn't matter. So I had pulled this one out. This was great because it has so much color. And if you find something like that, just cut out the objects and save your colors, okay? Then, once you've gotten a lot of colors, look around for other things. Maybe you want to add texture by ripping a paper towel into pieces or cardboard box. If you rip some of it, a layer you get that nice rough corrugated part they call it and it would give an interesting texture now if you feel like you're gonna make a mess with all this stuff see if you can find a box a big box that you can put your things in or when you start the project you can actually put it in here so it won't uh, move around people know not to touch it okay let me give you a little time to separate colors. Be back. Next, you need to choose a base. A base is simply the bottom, the thing you're going to glue everything on. And if you don't have the paper to do it, just a piece of paper, you can just use anything to glue it on. A piece of cardboard or even this folded piece of newspaper. So don't worry, like I said, whatever we have, we use. And um, this works fine. Right now, I just wanna make mine a little smaller, so I am gonna, going to use the plain paper. Now, you see I'm on a wood table. When I'm ready to glue, I am not gonna be on the wood table. I will put it either in this box or I'll put some old newspaper under it. Now comes the part where you're placing shapes by cutting it out or, or tearing them out. So think about the colors you want to use. You might want to use red, orange, and yellows, blue, greens, and violets, or just start and see where it takes you, okay? So I do love the color yellow. So I'm gonna cut out a big piece of yellow rectangle to use first, um, kind of like for the background. But if you can't find your scissors or sister or brother or someone's using them. Here is how you tear paper the way you want it. You put two fingers on one side of the line where you want to tear, two fingers on the other, and just move, just rip 
by moving one set of fingers, see? Sometimes it tears easily, but that doesn't always work. This did, so it has a nice texture on the edge and we wanna use some texture. So I'm gonna use this piece. Next, place it where you think you want it. Don't glue anything down yet. And remember I said this is going to be kind of the background color. So I'm going to try to make it balanced. If I put yellow here, I'll put it there. And since I tore it, I don't want to use the straight edge. Now you think about how you want it to look. So I want this one to kind of match, kind of go along with the idea of texture. Remember the other way to do it. Okay. Oh, well, this one's kind of big, so hmm. I'll just tear it a little more and do it that way. Put it here. See, I've got part of my background set up. I may want to use another color. Here is a card I received from a very nice person a while ago, and I found the envelope. What a beautiful color. So. That makes a nice texture, doesn't it? So I'm going to rip it to make that really cool white area. Now remember, you can use your scissors. I'm just going to use my scissors to cut out some parts, all right, to get kind of the shape I want. That would be good. And then I'll use some here. Okay, remember this is the background, so you just wanna fill up as much as you can with color, and the designing part, more of the designing part will be later. So do your background, don't glue it yet. All right, once you have enough, you feel like you ha have enough to make an overall background, I'm gonna leave some white space because that'll be my background colors yellow, white, and blue, turquoise blue, actually. Once you're happy with it, you can start gluing it down or taping it down, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna glue and tape, but remember if you do, actually I should show you, remind you, do it on top of an old scrap paper. If you use Elmer's, only use a few dots. If you use a glue stick, Put it all around the edges. You wanna get the edges so it stays down. Okay, so you're going to make believe I glued this. How was that? How was that? <laughs> hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna add another piece there because now I moved it and I feel like there's not enough. Okay, so once you have your background all set up, oh, and by the way, if you don't have glue, if you can't find it, sister or brother's using it, whatever, you can also just leave it like this because at the end when you take a picture, that will be your collage. It'll be forever uh, saved in a photo, okay? So now, what am I gonna do on top? Well, let's look at Kurt Schwitters again. It seems like he purposely cut out the rectangles and the ones that, have the mo that stand out the most and spread them out a bit, left, middle a little higher, a little lower so that your eye goes around the page. So I would like us to try that. What color should I use next? Well, I'm gonna try black. Um, it's really gonna stand out against the other colors. So you can tell I really love the ripping. The magazine paper does rip quite nicely. And I, because it gives that white edge. But if I'm going to see the white edge, and I want you to notice this too, I won't put it directly on the white. I want you to overlap things and overlap where things will show up. So it'll show up better if I overlap it on another color. You notice I went down and across. It kind of looks like a backwards L and it kind of makes you look around the whole picture. So that's what I want you to try and do. Try and arrange the shapes in a way that forces the person looking at it to follow them. And 
that's called the composition of your paper, the composition of your artwork. And the composition will either be inviting to look at or it might be too confusing. So I'm actually I'm going to put that there and I'm going to continue on. All right, I'm going to try to wrap it up now so that you can get started and I can answer any questions if you need to. You can put, post a question privately on Google Classroom. Most of you might know that because you use it with your classroom teacher. Now remember, this is my first time ever, ever using Google Classroom. Why? Because I have 32 different classes. So this is a totally different experience for me and I'm really trying my best to get back to people and I actually had to learn how to post questions. I didn't even know some kids knew and they were posting me private questions or private comments too. You can post on the feed on the stream, but guys from now on, now that we're starting the real artwork, please only post things that have to do with our art project, all right? Um, you could send me something when you're not done and I can comment on it, or you can just finish and send me the picture. Voila, your art assignment will be finished. I don't want it to look like a face, so I'm moving that. All right, so I think you get the idea, guys. Just have fun and do your best. Do what you can. We're all home here, so we have limited supplies and I know that, so. Hmm. I overlapped three things there. I kind of like that. I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'll show you later. Okay, guys, have fun. Good luck. And I can't wait to see it. Oh, you have the whole week to do it, by the way. Um, you'll see the directions right on Google Classroom. See you later.